Yo guys, what is up? It's Andy here, back at you with another video. And today I just wanted to quickly do a uh, Integra Mat scenario that I was struggling to find the solution to. Uh, just to introduction, if you're the first time on my channel, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm Andy and I do business tips and tricks uh, in order to help you get your business off the ground. Uh, I also like to do things like this. Uh, it's a little bit more technical, but it's things that I learned along the way in starting my own businesses. And uh, yeah, it's immensely helpful to have the resources. Anyway, let's jump in. So I had an issue. I was obviously uh, my one of my main lines of business is e-commerce and I was struggling to get a and my main accounting platform is zero and I didn't know a way of getting I was using Zapier to create my invoices in Shopify, which works, but I wanted to use Integramat because it's way cheaper and I've basically moved everything uh, I have to Integramat. I absolutely love it now. Uh, link below if you're interested. And yeah, so, but I, yeah, it, I needed some help getting this one set up. So if you want to create invoices from uh, Shopify orders, first, obviously you need to connect to Shopify. Uh, as you can see, I've just set it to a limit on three, uh, fulfillment status, I've just left like that. And obviously I just, all of our orders are credit cards. So it's like, you know, it's gotta be paid for the, for the invoice to be created. Uh, this is complicated because I wanted the line items. I should have started with that. Um, yeah, so I needed to put in the line items for this, for this project. Um, and okay, so next thing, obviously I want to iterate the line items. Then you get an array aggregator and I'm gonna aggregate those line items. So then you select your iterator and uh, you set it to line items. It should pick this up once you've added some of the zero modules. And as you can see, I've got nothing else filled in. I need mainly the SKU and the price and the quantity description I probably could have left that alone because then zero would use the default description and link to the item then I also want to iterate the shipping lines and then aggregate the uh, those lines into title they're basically the same there's always going to be one shipping line so I just put in a one and the price and then it's always going to be called shipping as the item so only variables here's what it was called whether it was like economy or same day and the price changes from time to time uh, next thing you have to, this is where I got stuck. Uh, well, I got stuck a few places, but you have to merge these two arrays and call it F array. Uh, so you use the uh, set variable tool for this. Uh, basically, and then you add the merge tool from, uh, you should get it from one of these tool menus. Then zero is a bit funny with Integramat, but uh, Zapier, like you do it in one step, you just create the invoice. But in Tegramat, you have to first search for the customer, get the customer ID, and then create the contact. Whether they create a contact first or cre link that ID to the link that invoice to that ID of the customer. Uh, so we do a little uh, a wee little search here. And what I did, I did quite a complicated thing over here, basically because there was sometimes customers would like put a double space in and uh if you it's basically the way zero creates it i think you can create it with a double space but then it or auto, zero automatically trims it but then when you search it the next time and it's got that double space it won't find it uh anyway i had to do this um and this there's probably i, I think you could actually just change this to replace space space with space um, as opposed to using this uh, uh, regular reg, reg expression or regular expression. Uh, next thing, you've got a router. If the contact exists or if the contact doesn't exist, uh, if it exists, we want to create an invoice. And obviously select your organization, sales invoice, contact ID, line items, you just put their FRA, obviously select it to map, date, Date created, uh, due date, I always just set it to plus 14. Reference, I just set it to the name of the gateway. And URL, I just uh, set it to there, plus the order ID so I can jump there. Status is authorized, the rest is pretty much straightforward. You're customizable to your organization. I think this isn't the hard part. Uh, and then if we need to create a contact, we obviously just uh, create it one moment 
Uh, and then this is also where I'm now creating it. I'm trimming it out first, uh, create it with first name, last name, and maybe it's probably, uh, there might be other things to add in um, under creating it. But anyway, we create the contact and then you create an invoice. Uh, so yeah, you can just see if contact doesn't exist, contact ID, and this is contact ID exists. You could probably just have exists and then uh, this is the full back route. That's pretty much it. Um, then just set it to run, obviously every 30 minutes uh, or so, however long. Uh, you can probably change it to have a different limit, so maybe 10 um, at a time and just run it once a day. Uh, a couple of issues I do find if it obviously that contact issue was a big thing um, sometimes if you can't create the, ish, the invoice if there is now a line uh, like an SKU with uh, like enough stock in zero first so it'll just cancel and turn the whole thing off so you might actually want to put in some error handlers on these create invoices uh, other than that I haven't really had any issues with it. It's way cheaper than some of the plugins out there, especially considering I already give loads of money to Integromat for all my other operations. This saves me loads of time. It gets it perfect. It lets me know if there's an error. And so far, I'm super happy with it. So uh, let me know if you guys are uh, found this helpful and looking forward to seeing you in future videos.